So Tales from the Borderlands is a game that I have to admit I was a little skeptical about at first. Now don't get me wrong, I love the games Telltale makes and I'm a fan of Borderlands as well. But Borderlands is very fast-paced and action-oriented, and Telltale's games are much slower paced and much more focused on story. They're two very different experiences, and I was concerned that trying to mash the two of them together would end up resulting in a product that wasn't as good as either one on their own. Fortunately, putting these two together has resulted in an excellent game, and one that I definitely recommend. So, first things first. The game features two main protagonists, Hyperion employee Reese and Pandoran native con artist Fiona. And right off the bat, I feel like I should mention that I really love both of these characters. They're very well written, they're very interesting, they're very funny, and they would feel like they would fit perfectly into the Borderlands games that Gearbox made. And the same can really be said of all the supporting cast. All the characters are very well written and funny and fit right into the established world that people know from the main Borderlands games. And that's helped by the excellent dialogue which does a good job of conveying the story points and getting things moving while staying as funny as people have come to expect from Borderlands. And that's probably the best part of this game, is that it manages to maintain that ridiculous sense of humor that Gearbox's Borderlands games brought. Which is what I was most skeptical about, admittedly, because so much of Borderlands humor is ridiculous and in your face and violent and just so fast paced in a way that Telltale's gameplay style just didn't seem like it'd really be able to replicate. So it's very impressive that Telltale has managed to pull that off. And Tales from the Borderlands has some very funny moments. The dialogue is very clever and the things that happen are, are typical ridiculous Borderlands chaos. Aside from the game's humor, the other thing it does very well, and the other thing I was most concerned about, is the story. Again, I was concerned that trying to mash together Telltale's focus on storytelling with Borderlands' focus on humor would result in watered-down versions of both. And again, it hasn't. In fact, the story that they set up here is pretty interesting, with a lot of narrative threads weaving together that center around a business deal gone extremely wrong with backstabbing and, and conning and lying on all sides. It's, it's a very interesting setup. There's a lot of characters introduced and a lot of potential conflicts that I'm very interested to see how they play out in the future installments in the series. The game kicks off with one of the player characters, Reese, pretty much screwing over most of Hyperion and making quite a lot of enemies along the way. Of course, your other protagonist is, by occupation, a con artist, which means that by definition she's going to make a lot of enemies. 
And there's a lot of potential for that whole network of just characters that you are constantly screwing over along the way with everything you do. It has the potential to play into a really interesting story. Granted, I, I don't know how the story's going to go from here, obviously. The story could completely fall flat. I don't expect it to, but it could. All I can judge right now is that the setup that Telltale has established is very good and has a lot of potential. The story for this installment was almost as good as the humor was. Of course, the game's not perfect. The same technical issues that Telltale's games have had ever since the first season of The Walking Dead are still present, which means there's a little bit of frame rate slowdown and the load times can be longer than I'd like, but that's almost just come to be expected from Telltale's games. And, of course, if you didn't find yourself enjoying Telltale's style of point-and-click adventure gameplay that they've had forever, this game is not going to change your mind, as the core gameplay is still very much Telltale, whereas the writing is where it's Borderlands. So, if you never really got into the whole wandering an environment, interacting with objects, with the main action just being quick-time events that admittedly do trigger cooler scenarios in this game than we're used to from, say, The Walking Dead. But still, if that style of gameplay never really appealed to you in any of Telltale's previous games, this game is definitely not going to change your mind. That said, if you're looking for something very well-written and very funny, with a really good story and some great characters, then this game is probably for you. So, what's the final verdict on Tales from the Borderlands? A very satisfying 9 out of 10. I was initially a little hesitant about this game, but having played it through, I can definitely say that at least this first episode is definitely worth the $5 asking price. If you're interested, I highly recommend it, and I'm definitely looking forward to see where the series goes from here. As always, I'm Alec. I realized that this was a shorter review than usual, but the game was only two and a half hours long, so there wasn't a whole lot to talk about. But as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a comment down below telling me what you thought of it. Be sure to like if you liked it, obviously. Um, be sure to favorite if you really liked it. Subscribe if you really, really liked it. And I will see you guys in the next video very soon. Take care.